Hey guys, um, about NXT and Ardor, uh, it's interesting, um, but so uh, the Ardor snapshots uh, to receive Ardor are now um, uh, one uh, third done, but still two thirds to go. Uh, so we're uh, today um, uh, 16 August, August 16, the snapshots started at July the 14th, so about a month ago, and are running till October 12th, so another two months, I think that's about 90 days total, 30 days is done, 60 days still yet to go. Um, so for N every NXT you hold today, uh, if you start counting today, you will get uh, about um, 0 0.66 order. Um, and this will be uh, given in a form of an asset as order itself will be released only later uh, in, uh, in 2017 but there will be an asset created uh, that represents the order token and, and it will be traded on the NXT asset exchange already uh, and I think that asset will be distributed uh, uh, also um, after the snapshots are done so at the end of October um, um, uh, but what's the value of order? Is the order the value? Because this is just a forging token. It's the, called the mother chain. That's the token you need in order to validate transactions. But you can't do anything else with that. You can't pay people with that. Or you can't vote with that. Uh, or um, you can't buy assets with that. Um, or you can buy, cannot buy aliases. It's just to have validation power um, and or also known as mining uh, power and um, or forging power or staking power eh? um, that's uh, that's that's the value of order and I personally think that um, the actually the token that's used to um, pay people uh, so the child chain token Thing they call it FNX, but it will still get a proper name. Um, um, uh, this will be distributed based on 50 50, so based on half of them. So it's also you have 1 billion NXT coins, you will get 1 billion other tokens, uh, other coins. So, so that will be one on one distributed, but then you will also have 1 billion uh, FNX tokens. And that will be based on 50% uh, uh, of those tokens will be distributed to NXT holders one on one. But the other 50% will go to the development team. So, so for every NXT you will only get half uh, FNX. If you hold it during the snapshot, and that's not decided yet when that snapshot will be. Um, but um, uh, I personally think that um the, the 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 child chain token is um is much more valuable than the ardor token um but then you have other things playing that doesn't make it so so if you look at bitcoin um the value of bitcoin um the token itself uh, is much higher than the value of the mining uh, power. Um, and it's really actually very low. The mining power is only a couple percent um, of uh, if you want to buy all the mining rigs or if you want to achieve 50% of the mining power, you only have to invest about 1-2% of the value of Bitcoin into mining to get that. Um, and so um and so um even though for nxt the fact that you can mine with the coin also is of course uh, an important part but i think if you split it up you will see that the value of nxt coin is ha much higher than the value of the coin that's used to, to transact to validate transactions um but with order there's something else of course going on and that is that well, you can just copy now the child chain, uh, so FNX then, and you can start your own child chain, and you will also need order uh, to validate transactions. And so, um, 
this makes that um, uh, even though the coin itself is more valuable than the uh, validation token, you will have, if Arthur is successful, a lot of coins on top of it. Um, and if each coin has about 10% or so of the value goes to Arthur, then you only need 10 coins for Arthur to be more valuable uh, than uh, the, 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 the one a FNX child chain uh, uh, that will be there. So, but uh, that will be later on. In the beginning, I think FNX, the child chain, will be valued a lot higher and, um, than, uh, than the other token. So, uh, but I'm very impressed how they have distributed uh, the other token. It really has uh, pushed up the price of NXT. And if they are smart, they will do a similar long snapshot period uh, for, um, for the child chain token. Um, and um, this will uh, likely continue to also give uh, a positive uh, uh, effect on the NXT price um, since the child chain token will be very valuable in the beginning. Only later on when, when Ardor is successful and you have a lot of other coins that's build or other DAPs, decentralized applications or um, just people building on top of Ardor and, and not on top of FNX then uh, you will see that order will go up and may exceed the value of the FNX child chain. Um, but this is based on fundamentals. The market doesn't give much about fundamentals and may value things very differently than, than I think the fundamentals should. And so it may well be that beginning, uh, order is valued higher than the child chain FNX. So, so you don't really know that. Um, um, uh, this is all if you dig deep into it. If you just look superficially at uh, NXT, well, it just went up from 1,000 Satoshi to 5,000 Satoshi. It's now back in the top 10. Only a few coins are valued higher. And um, I think uh, short term, uh, it's valued quite high. Uh, and um, there is clearly a lot more buying pressure than selling pressure and that's a good time to sell something. So I might take some uh, NXT off the table, um, convert it to Bitcoin, invest in other stuff. Um, but long term, like it will only be a small part of my NXT. I, 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 I think the big challenge in profiting from cryptocurrencies is to hold hold it um, to your original uh, point that you hoped for. For me, that's uh, not uh, 30 million market cap for NXT. It's not 100 million, it's 1 billion eh? uh, or at least 500 million, eh? uh, uh, at least uh, going over Litecoin. That is still 200 million value today um, and, uh, and, and just um, yeah, being valued for being a, a great alternative to Bitcoin, a great uh, solution um, to offer uh, cryptocurrencies um, to the people. Uh, with Ardor, it's not just also, I forgot to mention that, but it's not just about um, having an easy solution for people to build their own cryptocurrency. It's also uh, a much more scalable uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, which is exactly the problem uh, Bitcoin uh, experienced today um, that um, it's um, it they are don't they don't make the right decisions for it to be scalable uh, the amount of transactions continues to be limited uh, and um, and that's the solution that NXT provides uh, in their way but there are other coins of course it also provides a solution such, such as uh, IOTA, which has a different uh, blockchain uh, concept. They say that also very, very scalable. Um, uh, but for example, Ethereum is not uh, uh, very scalable the way it has been uh, developed today. Um, I, at the time, a couple of months ago, said that NXT really doesn't have a scalability problem, but an adoption problem. And this is true, but What's also true is that in cryptocurrency, it's first that speculators value 
the coin and that's not based on existing uh, adoption it's based on potential adoption uh, and, and and this is interesting first they pump up the value based on what they think the future value will be and then the rest follows then you have people building around the coin building on top of the coin and and so this is very important um, that you uh, capture the imagination of uh, speculators and that you value speculators because the inverse is true as well if they don't value your coin if they don't pop up the val pump up the value uh, if it value continues to go down or stay low then you will not get that infrastructure around it with many developers coming also to check out the coin and build on top of it or a third party applications building on top of it this all comes um, as a consequence of the value being pumped up but it's a feedback loop it's not just you have to first have the speculation value then the rest follows no it's also the first thing you need is something of value being created uh, pure technically um, because speculators base themselves also on uh, what the developers are producing so it's a feedback loop and um, now we're clearly finally getting uh, the value of NXT going up. Um, uh, but indeed, the more, the higher it goes, the better it is for NXT actually, because the more um, uh, you will get uh, other people building on top of it. Uh, and since yeah uh, i've said this before but since the bear market has been so terrible um i think the inverse can be true too and so i'm gonna sell only a small piece if i decide to do because i really think that we may all be very surprised how high this can go the same for uh, as we were all very very surprised how low it has gone uh so uh and um yeah, there are some other uh, things happening in the cryptocurrency market. Ethereum had big problems um, due to uh, the way it chose to design its uh, cryptocurrency uh, platform. Uh, it's called Turing Complete. And this means that people can run scripts on top of it that will be executed automatically. Uh, but if the script is written poorly or with... Uh, um, then you get automatically executed uh, transactions that you may not want like there was a, this DAO um, uh, it's, it's like an automatic company uh, built on top of uh, Ethereum and um, somebody uh, was able to um, basically find a um, weakness in the script and transfer a lot of uh, money to his own account a lot of, a lot of Ether and um, and so, um, um, as I understand it, and I'm not a technician at all, uh, this Turing completeness gives a lot of flexibility to programmers, and that's why Ethereum gave, uh, well, became such a, a big hype, because it really speaks to the imagination of developers, and so a lot of developers joined the project. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it makes the blockchain extremely uh, large very quickly so that means that it is really not very scalable um, and also it uh, can cause a lot of uh, problems um, if you allow a lot of um, powers to uh, all programmers uh, NXT has approached this very differently where um, uh, where um, um, uh, where all um, smart contracts, uh, you can call it like that too, um, are first need to be approved by the lead developer before they are implemented. Um, and so weaknesses uh, are, uh, will be, um, uh, weak code won't be allowed. Uh, and um, uh, this of course is not so attractive for developers uh, because they have to be approved uh, and it it, 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 it reduced it reduces the creativity um, that developers can uh, the amount of creativity creativity they can use but at the same time it does create a much more safe uh, environment um, 
and uh, part likely the rise of NXT may also be the price rise I may be also partly because people are looking for platforms for um, blockchain solutions that um, allow you to do a lot more than just send money uh, Ethereum did that uh, but NXT has also been uh, offering that for a long time and um, and um, uh, yeah mm, uh, it may be uh, valued a lot higher uh, uh, due to this blah 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 <laughs> we always find reasons why our investments uh, may go up a lot but yeah uh, I think the most important uh, reason to hold NXT even though it just went up a lot is that um, uh, I didn't invest uh, well, the same when I invest in Bitcoin at ten dollars it had gone to thirty dollars it had dropped to three dollars it was back up ten dollars this is all in 2011 2012 and then I decided to invest but not to hold it till thirty dollars it was the old all-time high why, why? Uh, the potential for Bitcoin at the time was to do another bubble and and why? Because the amount of transactions continue to go up. That was, of course, really great to see with Bitcoin. I can't say that for, for the current altcoins, still not. Eh? They are not leading in amount of transactions. But this does not have to be the case. If first the price goes up a lot, then transactions follows as well. If you, as you see with Ethereum, for example, the amount of transactions went up, but then the price went up a lot more. And... After that, the amount of transactions continue to go up. Huh? So it's always a feedback loop, but the price may first go up before the amount of transactions follows. With Bitcoin, it was nice that this was not the case. So first, you always had the amount of transactions go up, but sometimes the price went up a lot, then the price went down a lot. And then you can see, oh, but transactions continue to go up, so likely we will get a bubble soon again. So when I invested $10, I was... I want to see another bubble before I would sell. So when it hit $30, I wasn't considering selling. That was easy. No, but when it hit $60, $80, I started to sell some, which proved to be way too soon because it went up to $250. Eh? Um, but with NXT today and with any other uh, altcoin, if you really believe in it, then uh, you pick the coin that... Uh, has the potential to go up versus Bitcoin uh, a lot. And, um, and that means that the old all-time high needs to be broken and you need to have a new bubble versus Bitcoin um, and only then you reach the potential uh, that you initially believed in. And so for NXT, it has hit twice the, uh, an all-time high of 13,000 Satoshi. It's 5,000 Satoshi now. Well, the potential is that it hits 50,000 Satoshi in the next bubble versus Bitcoin, which is 10 times higher uh, than, uh, than, than, than currently. And, uh, of course, since NXT uh, is actually in practice being split into three coins in the future, NXT will continue to exist, but you will also have order and then the child chain. Uh, so a new blockchain uh, with two coins. Of course, the 50,000 50, Satoshi is then the combination of all of them. NXT itself will likely never reach that uh, since the project will be abandoned in the long term by the current developers. Uh, they will continue to maintain it for another year, but all innovations will go into order. Eh? Uh, but, by, but, but, but probably a lot of that value will go to order in the child chain. And so if you combine all three of them, which you will get automatically if you just hold NXT, then uh, then you will have that 50,000 Satoshi in the next bubble. That's still the potential, I think. Um, and only then, I think, uh, it's a very wise to um, uh, sell a lot uh, as a correction will likely be due. And you will get a chance to buy even back the same amount of coins and still have a lot of money left over to live a beautiful life. Um, so those are my views on NXT. At the same time, um, I still have uh, currently about of my total portfolio 50% NXT, 25% Bitcoin. Uh, I have decided to start uh, investing uh, those Bitcoins into altcoins as well. But uh, I have, uh, uh, I'm looking for great 
altcoin investors to do that for me because a lot of them have a lot of people around me have proved to be better in that than I am and uh, and so um, I found some great people um, and if you have uh, also strongly outperformed Bitcoin uh, the past few years uh, thanks to investing in altcoins or thanks to jumping in and out of Bitcoin in a, a timely manner then uh, then please contact me because uh, I'm interested to, to hear your story and maybe we can uh, work together um, and so that means that I will have a very low exposure to Bitcoin it is uh, currently from my uh, cryptocurrency po uh, portfolio it's uh, still 33% or so but uh, I will likely bring that down to possibly 10% uh, only or 5% only so um, voila uh, a little uh, lengthy update uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you all good luck um, I think there are a lot of interesting investments today in the altcoin space um, simply because well Bitcoin is has reached its uh, limit in uh, amount of transactions and uh, so it's really it was never so sure uh, that altcoins would perform well versus Bitcoin as today that's really a great gift of the Bitcoin developers we can be grateful for them uh, not wanting to scale Bitcoin up uh, because this makes uh, investing a lot easier uh, because it's very very hard to beat the leader uh, of a new uh, technology um, and, and it was very hard to beat Bitcoin it has so much free marketing worldwide eh? um, so as a currency the chance was very low that another coin would beat it except if they really like do stupid stuff eh? then it becomes much more certain this will happen and that's exactly what they do today so uh, yeah there is a real big opportunity for other coins to um, go up a lot versus Bitcoin this was already a given even when Bitcoin continued to be the leader in previous Bitcoin bubbles altcoins even stupid altcoins weak altcoins altcoins with no future went up versus Bitcoin a lot eh? so in the next big bubble very likely the same will happen uh, or even more because now also fundamentals really point in that direction not just um, not just unfounded hype but really fundamentals so um, bye guys and good luck